Hi, it's Adam Houston. I'm coming to you, as always, from the digital studios of Market Club. And the market we're looking at today is one we've looked at before, and that is the gold market right here. This is a spot gold weekly chart. One of the nice things about Market Club is we have real-time spot gold prices. And basically, spot gold starts trading usually on Sunday night, and this is Eastern Standard Time, and it normally ends Friday. So it's pretty much 24-7. Hong Kong trades gold on Saturdays, very little trade, um, but uh, does trade. Uh, but basically, real-time prices on Market Club, all included in your membership. So let's take everything off the screen, and let's look at just what's been happening to uh, this market uh, since 2001, right here. It's been in just a steady uptrend. I mean, no question about it, just a steady uptrend. We got a little bit jerky here in the last year, big moves. And this is what we want to discuss today, this whole area. What's going to happen to this area? Well, one or two things can happen, and I think this is where we want to be really, really careful about. So let's take this off the screen, and let's go real close in on this market. And this is what we're looking at on a weekly basis. I'm going to change this to a daily basis. You'll see how easy it is to do this with Market Club, and you see how quickly it changes. Now we're looking at a daily chart. And we're looking, going back to August of 2007. So as you can see, we've had this sort of, we talked about this, it looks as like it's trying to make this big turn. And it hasn't been successful yet. And maybe it won't be successful. But a couple of things you can do here. I'll change this just to a simple close-only chart. You see how easy it is to do that? I'm also going to draw a trend line from this high across these three highs. And as you say, we always like to have three points in every trend line. Now this is very interesting because this is what we consider to be a resistance. That's a resistance line. And right now it's coming in, I'm guessing, right around the uh, 980 area. That's very, very key. Now. If we look at this market even closer up, we'll, we get some clues as to what's happening. So let's just take everything. Uh, the other thing to look at also, I'm going to go down here and look at the MACD. You see how this is beginning to just make that turn. Hasn't made it yet, but it's beginning to make that turn. So let's take everything off the screen. We'll scope it in even further to look at something that I think is pretty interesting. Again, we've got... We're going to put in our Fibonacci tools, which are very simple to do, Fibonacci lines rather, and just drag this down to the lows from the highs, and just make sure we get that perfect. And you can see how beautifully these worked. Here's the 62% retracement, 61.8 to be precise. It came in around 9.11. That's exactly where the market stopped. We've had the bounce up. The question is, is this bounce going to continue or is it going to roll back over? That's going to be very, very key. Certainly this level here, this last lows that we saw in gold, must hold if we're going to see some sort of positive information coming to this market and to push it higher. MACD, or the MACD as it's sometimes called, is turned up right here. And also looking at our Fibonacci, which I meant to say earlier, it has completed a low and it looks like it wants to go higher. So the key thing is now, what's going to propel this market higher? That's the great unknown. Sometimes it only takes perception to push markets higher. Clearly, we have broken a trend line. If we just take a rough trend line down here like this, and the momentum has swung back to the upside. Key area to watch is the 980 area. This is going to be a resistance level. It just happens to be where this high is. So 980 is going to be resistance. And it looks like around the 910 level is going to be support for the, for the near term. Right now, we're sort of in the mid-range, right around the 940 level. And it seems to me that we may have to do a little more work. But I think we're going to go up and challenge the highs. The key level next week... And that's the week starting the 20th of July. 
the key level starting the 20th of July to look for on this market I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to get everything off the screen. I'm going to go to a, a weekly chart again. I'm going to go to a high low and this is the level to watch right here. It's 946.40 so I'm just going to put this on 946.40. That's going to be the key level to watch right here. If we go over this level and we're currently trading, I'm doing this live 938.15 right now. If we go another $10 higher, or even $8, whatever it might be, and we penetrate and go over this level, you want to be buying gold. That will put our trade triangle, our weekly trade triangle, has been short from the 935.70 level. That will turn that positive, indicating that everything's a go on the upside. So far, the monthly is positive, the daily is positive, the only one that's a fly in the ointment is the weekly. It will turn up at 946.40. That's the key level to watch. And if we take this level out, I want to be buying gold, and I would recommend that you look at this seriously on the long side. Resistance, again, we've said this before, 980. And, uh, but th that's a nice pop from where we are right now, though. So let's see how things work out. Adam Hewison, Full Market Club, looking at gold, getting ready. I'll see you in